Hey everyone, I'm Xunani, an artist from Flensburg, Germany. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will bind my own mixed media sketchbook and paint the cover after that. If you enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. That would make me really happy. I failed a lot on this project. You will see later what happened during the process. So let's get started. First I need some different kind of paper. I have nice drawing paper, the mixed media paper and a really nice watercolor paper. These two papers I found in my art closet. This one was the printing paper for the book I made for my diploma. It has that nice color and a very smooth surface. The other one is an old drawing paper with less weight. It's a good one. I wanted to test them out. I drew this beetle on both papers with the same pencils. You see, pencils work much better on this one. I also tested wet techniques on both and watercolors work better on the printing paper. The color bleeds not through the paper. I like it. Perhaps I will use it for that. Or perhaps lino cut printing? We will see. Now I have to fold all these paper sheets. I pack them in five booklets. They are all different sizes, but I like that. That's a special charm, I think. I don't like it too perfect, that's not me. I need a strong yarn and needles. I thought that would be easy, cause I had done this before, but I have to say, it would have been better to watch a how-to video before. If you are a specialist in binding books and watch this video now, you will be shocked, perhaps, how I failed forward this process. I improvised a lot, but in the end, it will be a good one, I think. Okay, let's bind them together. First, I have to measure it out and make holes with my long needle. This is a yarn to sew leather with it. I will use what's there. I have to wax it first, that it goes smooth through the holes on the paper. I use this pure bee wax candle. You can use any candle for that. All booklets are bind together now, so I have to glue the cover on it. I used the rest of an old Passepartout carton. I started to ink on that someday, but that's okay, I will paint over it later. Normally, you would take some good glue and stick the cover on the back of the book. I can't do this, cause there's too much space between the booklets. 
so I decided to use double-faced adhesin tape for that. Yes, I know. I'm using what's here for this project and I have a lot of stuff. Do you know that? You collect things, papers, cartons, art supplies. And someday there's the day you can use all the things to make something really cool. Now I want to bring the cover pieces together. I take a strip of paper and glue it over the back of the book. I use paper or wood glue. I also want to glue the first pages on the cover. Finally, here is it. Let's paint the cover with some cool stuff. I like to ink these covers of these little sketchbooks and I think I want to have something like this on my big one. Let's paint a dark blue background. I painted also the inside of the cover. I think it looks better then. Okay, it dried. Now let's check the sketches. It should be a small skull with a big tongue and I want to type on it. Let's have a short break. I wanted to show you how you can make it right. Same different papers, but cut it all in the same size. I made kind of a pattern for the sewing points. So all of them are on the same place in each booklet. Ah, intelligent. Perhaps that would be a nice self-made present for an artsy person, you know. Just wanted to show you. Okay, brain on my project again. I use a bright grey polychromo for the sketching part. I want to use acrylic paint and acrylic markers, here the white ones, black ones or this colored markers. I don't know which colors yet, but I want to have a poppy and fresh result. Psst, that was my next fail in this process, you will see. The first layer with acrylic paint.
still liked it on this point, but then I took the markers and I hated it, but I went on. Sometimes it will be cool in the end if you are brave and go through it, but it won't. I hate it more and more, but I went on with this. Blech. Okay, I have to paint it over again. What a surprise! Sometimes this happens and it's okay. The first version wasn't me and I wanted something I fear. Now I only follow my flow and you will see it becomes a good one in the end. It was really a good feeling painting over it again and destroy the ugly first version. As you can see, it's a lot more me now. Everything grows together and I want to use my black markers in the end. Believe me, that's so much fun. This will be a very personal book in the end. I'm getting more and more happy with it. found this very cute envelope and I wanted to use for a few idea prompts when I'm working in this book or collect good ideas inside. I can use it when I have no good ideas what I should draw or paint. Let's have a look what's inside. Take your symbolic lexica, pick randomly a word and draw it. Take a drawing from your kit and redraw it. Ask your honey, send you an emoji, draw it in your style.
draw or paint a dream. Doodle a page. Go outside, draw the first insect you see there. Pick a random sentence from your favorite book and letter it. A sentence of one of your favorite songs and letter it. Oh, that's nice. I want to do it right now. <laughs> Ask your kid what you should draw. Do it. Take your mythological lexica, pick randomly a word, draw it. Ask your best friend what you should draw, do it. Take an old picture and redraw it. Look through your old sketches and pick one for a painting. You can write everything you want and put it inside your little envelope if you want to have something like that. I will glue this envelope on this first page here, perhaps here, I don't know, we will see. I have to say I'm really happy with it and I'm really excited and I want to start right now. Do you also like it? Now it's time to varnish it. I tested it on a little edge first. After that I can do this. Oh no, it smudged a bit on the very black parts. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day, yours Xunani.